Well, Tesla is a top trending ticker on Yahoo Finance this morning. Shares moving to the upside in pre-market trading, up just about seven-tenths of a percent. The move higher coming after its fourth quarter delivery numbers topped expectations. Pross Supermeaning joining us now at the table. Pross, there was lots of questions about whether or not Tesla was going to reach not only its fourth quarter goal, but its yearly goal. And it looks like this was enough to get it there. Yeah, you know, just just barely here. Just the numbers just crossing right now. Delivery-wise, 484000 for the quarter, beating estimates of 483000 compiled by Bloomberg. Production-wise, 494,000, almost 495,000 vehicles compared to 482, so a big beat there. They made a lot of Model 3s and Model Ys during the quarter, both. Uh, they don't break out regionally, so you don't know where they're made, but definitely made more in China and the US and Fremont as well. Uh, for comment and, comment and comment and context here, you know, for the year, 1.81 million cars now for the year globally, that's 38% higher than a year, a year ago. So not a little bit below that 50% compound annual growth rate, which we knew that they were not gonna hit because of uh, factory shutdowns and tweakings. No one is really making EVs like they are. From the bustling streets of China, where Tesla's numbers tell a tale of triumph and challenge, to the enigmatic corridors of Wall Street, where analysts' whispers and predictions stir up a storm of speculation. Join us as we unravel the mysteries behind Tesla's recent performance globally. Will the Model Y continue to captivate the market or will the Model 3 steal the spotlight? And what secrets do the latest analyst insights hold for Tesla's future? Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for a thrilling ride into the heart of Tesla's world, where every turn brings new surprises and every insight sparks endless possibilities. But before anything else, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Tesla Stock News, where curiosity meets the cutting edge. Let's dive into today's exhilarating exploration of Tesla's ever-evolving story. This week has been a fruitful one for Tesla and the stock market overall, with interest rates appearing to have peaked and anticipations of three rate cuts in 2024. The stock market has already shown a positive response. In this segment, we delve into some intriguing figures from China and Europe, along with a few concerns. Insights from two analyst notes received this week will be discussed. Additionally, our focus turns to the Optimus version 2, an exciting development to keep an eye on from 2024 onwards. The recent update shows that Tesla's weekly insured numbers in China have reached 15,400 units. This figure represents a significant growth trajectory for Tesla in the Chinese market, with a 7% increase compared to the previous quarter and an impressive 34% rise year over year. These numbers are particularly noteworthy given the competitive and rapidly evolving automotive market in China, especially in the electric vehicle sector. However, it's important to note a slight dip from the previous week's numbers. Despite this minor decrease, Tesla is still on course to achieve a record-breaking quarter in terms of sales in China. This sustained growth, even with week-to-week -week fluctuations, underscores the strong demand for Tesla's vehicles in the Chinese market. A closer look at the data reveals that the decrease in weekly numbers is primarily due to a drop in Model Y deliveries. The Model Y, Tesla's compact electric SUV, has been a popular choice among consumers, but such fluctuations are common in the automotive industry and can be influenced by various factors such as production adjustments, market demand, and supply chain dynamics. On the other hand, the Model 3, Tesla's more affordable sedan, has maintained steady numbers. The consistent performance of the Model 3 indicates its strong market position and continued appeal to consumers. This steadiness is crucial for Tesla, as the Model 3 is often considered an entry point for consumers into the Tesla brand and electric vehicles in general. The overall growth in Tesla's insured numbers in China is a positive indicator of the company's expanding footprint in one of the world's largest EV markets. This expansion is supported by Tesla's efforts to increase production capacity, enhance its supply chain, and adapt to local market preferences. Moreover, Tesla's growth in China is not only significant for the company's global sales figures, but also reflects the increasing acceptance and popularity of EVs in China. This trend is encouraged by the Chinese government's push for greener transportation options, offering subsidies and infrastructure support for EVs. Troy Teslik's analysis suggests a new production record for Giga Shanghai in Q4, with a notable increase in the Model Y to Model 3 ratio. With the Model 3 refresh, we might witness a resurgence in its demand. The data also sheds light on Tesla's market share in various European countries, with notable figures from Iceland, Norway, Ireland, and Denmark. 
However, the situation in Germany, a crucial market for Tesla and home to Giga Berlin, presents a challenge. The year's sales figures in Germany have not been as strong as expected, though increases are observed in other countries. With potential rate cuts in the United States and possibly Europe, we might see an increased demand for cars and solar installations. Moving on, let's dive straight into the solar energy sector, where companies like Enphase Energy and Solar Edge are making waves. Remarkably, Enphase Energy's stock price has soared, escalating from around $77.80 to nearly $120. This surge reflects the stock market's forward-looking nature, anticipating potential rate cuts. Shifting our focus to the analyst landscape, Ronald upgraded Tesla's price target from $125 to $130 while still maintaining a cautious outlook on the stock. This decision reflects a nuanced perspective on Tesla's future market performance. To understand the significance of this upgrade, it's essential to consider Ronald's standing and track record as an analyst. He is ranked 6,597 out of 8,636 Wall Street analysts by TipRanks, a platform that ranks financial analysts based on their performance. While not among the top ranked analysts, Ronald's average return of 7.2% per stock rating is a respectable figure in the complex and unpredictable world of stock market predictions. This average return is a cumulative measure of the accuracy and profitability of his past stock recommendations providing a context for evaluating his Tesla analysis. Ronald's cautious stance, despite the price target upgrade, suggests a belief in Tesla's potential for growth, tempered by awareness of the challenges and uncertainties facing the company. This could be due to various factors influencing Tesla's business, including market competition, technological advancements, regulatory changes, and global economic conditions. In the world of investment analysis, diverse opinions and forecasts are common, reflecting the different methodologies, perspectives, and information sources used by analysts. Therefore, Ronald's viewpoint is just one among many in the financial community. Investors interested in a comprehensive understanding of Tesla's stock prospects would benefit from considering a range of analyses and opinions, including Ronald's. For those viewers who wish to delve into the specifics of Ronald's analysis, Pausing the video to review his complete assessment would be beneficial. His full analysis likely includes detailed justifications for the price target adjustment, insights into Tesla's business operations, market position, and potential risks and opportunities that may impact the company's stock value. Meanwhile, Morgan Stanley's Adam Jonas has been prolific with his insights, releasing numerous notes on Tesla in recent weeks. He suggests that Tesla is at the forefront of a technological revolution likening it to the Cambrian explosion of organism diversity over 500 million years ago. His focus includes Tesla's advancements in AI and robotics, particularly the Optimus V2 robot. This brings use to the remarkable progress of Tesla's Optimus V2. From its initial presentation to the latest version, the development speed is astonishing. The sophistication of the robot's hands and fingers is especially noteworthy. While Elon Musk's timelines are often optimistic, the potential applications of such a robot are vast. Imagine a robot that can not only perform complex tasks, but also handle mundane chores like folding clothes. The real game changer, however, lies in the practical effectiveness of the Optimus robot. If Tesla can demonstrate its utility in real world scenarios, the demand from various industries could be overwhelming. This brings us to a pivotal question. How will this technological advancement impact employment and societal structures? The conversation around universal basic income and the future of work becomes increasingly relevant in this context. Let's also talk about Tesla's expansion into Mexico. The company has secured a significant incentive package for Giga Mexico, to the tune of approximately $153 million. This support from the state of Nuevo Leon includes essential infrastructure development, such as roads and water treatment facilities, and a reduction in payroll taxes. However, the exact timeline for the construction start remains unknown. On a less positive note, Tesla has announced the end of the federal $7,500 EV tax credit for the Model 3 rear-wheel drive and long-range versions delivered after this year. This leads to some intriguing pricing dynamics between the Model 3 and Model Y variants. For instance, the Model Y rear-wheel drive and the Model 3 rear-wheel drive will have very similar pricing post-tax credit removal. This closeness in pricing is also evident between the Model Y long range and the Model 3 performance. 
as well as between the Model Y performance and the Model 3 long range. As we anticipate the Model 3 and Model Y refresh next year in the United States, questions arise about their pricing strategies and how they will compete with each other. Will the refreshed Model 3 be more expensive? Or will Tesla opt for a different pricing approach? This situation presents a unique challenge for Tesla, and it will be interesting to see how they navigate it in the coming year. In other news, Tesla faced headlines this week regarding a recall of 2 million US vehicles over an autopilot safeguard issue. However, it's important to note that this was addressed through an over-the-air software update, not a physical recall. Finally, let's take a look at Tesla's stock performance. After a roller coaster year in 2023, Tesla appears to be positioning itself for a strong 2024. 2023 has been a year of highs and lows for Tesla, with its stock experiencing significant fluctuations. However, as we move towards 2024, several key factors indicate a potentially strong year ahead for the company. Tesla's energy business, encompassing solar panels and energy storage systems like the Powerwall, Powerpack, and Megapack, is showing promising signs of growth. As global awareness and demand for renewable energy solutions increase, Tesla's innovative energy products could see higher adoption rates. This shift towards sustainable energy solutions, especially in light of global climate change initiatives, positions Tesla favorably in the market. Tesla has several eagerly anticipated product launches lined up. The Cybertruck, Tesla's venture into the electric pickup truck market, is expected to start production. The unique design and functionality of the Cybertruck could tap into a significant market segment, especially in the United States where pickup trucks are popular. Additionally, the Tesla Semi, an all-electric semi-truck, is set to enter the commercial vehicle market, which could revolutionize freight transport by offering a more sustainable, cost-effective solution. Tesla's advancements in artificial intelligence and autonomous driving technology are pivotal to its growth. AI Day 2024 is expected to showcase the latest developments in these areas, including updates on the full self-driving software and the Optimus robot. The success of these technologies not only bolsters Tesla's reputation as a tech innovator, but also opens up new revenue streams and markets. The potential lowering of interest rates in 2024 could play a significant role in boosting car sales. Lower interest rates generally make financing more affordable for consumers, thereby increasing their purchasing power. This economic shift could particularly benefit the electric vehicle market, including Tesla, as more consumers may find EVs within their financial reach. The global shift towards electric vehicles is gaining momentum, driven by environmental concerns and supportive government policies. Tesla, being a front-runner in the EV market, stands to benefit greatly from this trend. Furthermore, Tesla's continuous investment in battery technology, infrastructure, and software improvements keeps it at the forefront of the EV market. Well, there you go. We've delved into Tesla's recent performance in China, noting an impressive year-over-year -year increase in weekly insured numbers with the Model Y experiencing some fluctuations and the Model 3 maintaining steady demand. This performance hints at Tesla's robust market presence and the growing appeal of electric vehicles in China. Before we conclude, we'd like to pose a few questions to you, our viewers. How do you interpret Tesla's recent performance in the Chinese market? What are your thoughts on the analyst predictions for Tesla's stock? Do you agree with the cautious optimism or do you have a different outlook? leave your insights below in the comment section. And if you found this analysis informative and thought provoking, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Tesla Stock News for more in-depth discussions and updates on all things Tesla. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.